Hello students, welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a minion. So the program we're going to use to create the minion's body or to design the minion's body is Microsoft Publisher. So if you can find Microsoft Publisher in your applications, let's open Microsoft Publisher. Okay, we're going to choose blank page sizes and I want you to look for letter portrait, letter portrait. Click on Letter Portrait and then come down to the bottom right hand corner and click Create. Alright, so let's save this file right away. So let's go to File, Save As, look down the left hand side for the word Computer, then click the little triangle next to the word Computer and then click on your student number. Okay? Once you've selected your student number, let's call this file Minions. All right, so we have the file saved as minions. So look at the very top of the screen and the very left of the screen, we've got a ruler, okay? These, are, these ruler guidelines are gonna be very important when we design, when we look at the size of our minion. So we gotta make sure that these rulers are in centimeters. So let's go to tools and then let's go down to options. All right, let's click on the general tab and where it says measurement units, make sure this is set to centimeters. If it's set to inches, then click the down arrow and set it to centimeters and then click OK. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. So let's, uh, from the zoom menu here, let's go to 100%. Okay, so the very top left-hand corner of the page is where the zero, zero mark is. So the zero mark for the top ruler and the zero mark for the left ruler. So let's click on rectangle, the rectangle tool from the left hand toolbar. Let's start in the very top corner here where we can see at the top here where our ruler is zero and across our ruler is zero. So we're going to click and hold and drag. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to create a rectangle that is 15 centimeters tall. So I'm going to stretch down so I can see on my left hand ruler where the line comes to 15 centimeters. And I'm going to make the uh, box 9 centimeters wide. So I'm going to pull to the right and I'm going to stop when I'm looking at the top ruler and how the line meets at 9 centimeters. And then I'm going to let go. Okay, so this is roughly the height and the width of our minion. If you want a slightly taller minion, then you can stretch it out to 16 centimeters. If you want a slightly skinnier minion, then you can use 8 centimeters or 7.5 centimeters as the width. It does not matter. Okay, I'm just uh, talking about a general uh, shape here. This is a template, so you can fiddle around with it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch, I'm going to pull and drag it down to the middle of the page, but I'm going to keep it lined up with the left blue uh, border of the page there. Okay, so down the left hand side, let's click on shapes. And what I want to do is I want to uh, find the basic shapes uh, tool. And I want to choose the rounded rectangle, the rounded rectangle for the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in even further here and then I'm going to move down so I can see the bottom part of my minion body very well. Okay, so I'm going to start here on the left hand edge and I'm going to drag my rounded rectangle across so that it is approximately the same width as my minion body. I'm going to stretch this up a bit so I get more of the curve and then I'm going to stretch this down. Okay, so with this rounded rectangle activated, if you've deselected, then click on the rounded rectangle, you should see this um, yellow diamond. So this yellow diamond will allow you to um, manipulate the curve or the amount of curve of this uh, rounded rectangle. So I want you to try and grab it and then pull it inwards. And you'll see now that I've created a much more rounded curve for the bottom of my minion. So now what I want to do is I want to move it into place so that the curve starts right here at the corner of that rectangle. Now again, you can play around with this. You can stretch this out to get a little bit taller curve. It's up to you. 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to get this corner. This corner doesn't quite line up. So let's see if we can get any closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in even further. I might have to zoom in even further. And then let's see if I'm able to stretch this out so that it meets the edge. Sometimes it does not allow you to get that precise, but maybe that'll work. It went a little bit wider, but that's okay. Okay, so there's my rounded bottom of my minion. So let me zoom back out so it's a little easier to see. Okay, and again, you can stretch this. You can make the curve a little bit taller or um, shallower if you wish. Okay, so let's now move to the head. So I'm going to um, scroll upwards. Down the left-hand side, I'm going to use the oval tool. Okay, I'm going to click on the oval tool, and again, I'm going to start on the left edge of my rectangle and drag across, and then just drag upwards. Then I'm going to position the top of that oval so that I only see the top half of the oval. And again, if you want to make the rounded part taller, then you can stretch out and manipulate as much as you can. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit more rounded. Now remember, I've always got to bring, if I stretch it out in terms of top to bottom, then I've always got to remember to bring the oval down or else what's going to happen is you're going to have this situation here, okay, where we don't really want. So make sure that the center of the oval is kind of lying on the top line of the rectangle. So what you'll do is you just bring it down and then you'll see that these guide points are here and then I need to bring it down a little bit further and a little bit further and if those guide points here are resting on the top edge of the rectangle then uh, you know it's lined up as best as you can. So if you've got a little bit of a gap here we can use that same trick. We can zoom really far in and let's click on the oval and let's see if I can stretch it out a millimeter or two. Okay, and I could. So it's going to match pretty well there. All right, so let me zoom back out. Okay, so let's deselect. Let's click on any white area. And let's save. We haven't saved in a while. Okay. All right, so what we want is, even though these shapes are all overlapping, it would be nice if the body was not chopped up into these little shapes. It would be nice to make it look like we can't see those shapes. So first of all, let's increase the outline of these shapes. So I'm going to click on the oval first, and then from the line border style tool here, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to choose two and a quarter point, two and a quarter point. That'll make it quite a bit thicker. And then I'm going to do that for the uh, rectangle as well, using the same width, two and a quarter point. And then don't forget our rounded rectangle at the bottom, two and a quarter point. Okay. So let's bring the rectangle, that shape, to the very forefront. So let's click on the rectangle. And then let's go up to the Arrange menu. And let's go to order and let's choose bring to front bring to front and it doesn't look like it's done anything but now let's fill the color in white for that rectangle okay so now we've gotten rid of the bottom edge of the top oval and the top edge of the rounded rectangle all right so because Microsoft Publisher is not really a sophisticated drawing program, you can't really go in there and erase lines. So what we have to do is we have to do some kind of tricks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in again. I'm going to zoom into this portion of the minion's head. I'm going to zoom in. Maybe 400 is too much. So how about 200? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a small rectangle a very skinny rectangle across this black line. Now, you might be thinking, well, that didn't really gain us anything. So here's what we're going to do is I'm going to go up to the line border style and I'm going to choose no line. So now that rectangle I've just drawn has no outline to it. And then I'm going to paint that rectangle 
white. So I've just painted over that black line. Okay, so what happened here is on the left hand side, I kind of lost the outline. So I want to zoom in. And what I want to do is I want to bring that rectangle and I want to resize it so I can still see that black line. Now don't worry if you see a tiny bit of that line, that horizontal line going across. That's okay, because this really isn't going to be the minion. It's only the outer template. Okay, we're just trying to clean it up maybe for later purposes. Okay, so if you know how to do that, let me zoom back out. Let's do the same trick for the bottom line here. So let me uh, zoom back in a little bit. I'm going to create a rectangle. Click on the rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a small, tiny rectangle. Stretch it across over that black line. Okay. I'm going to change the line border style to no line, and then I'm going to paint it in white. I'm going to fill color white. Okay. So I have to zoom in a bit, and maybe I can stretch. Maybe that's the best I can do, and I'm going to get as close to this line as possible. Okay. All right, so let me zoom all the way out to 100% so I can see the whole minion body. Okay, that looks pretty good. It kind of just looks like a capsule, doesn't it? All right, so again, the, the whole idea about the minion shape is that it's supposed to be a very simple shape. Okay, it's supposed to be very appealing to kids. Okay, all right, so we're almost ready to print this out. So what we're going to do is, just using my cursor, I'm going to start in the left top left-hand corner. I'm going to click and drag the mouse. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a dotted rectangle. And I want to stretch it out so that it covers my entire shape. So even though the shape is very simple, it actually is comprised of many different components, right? So what I want to do is I want to click on this button down here to group objects. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to lock the object. So now, when I grab one part of the object, because they're all grouped together, that is now recognized as one complete shape. Okay. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to center it in the middle of my page. Okay. So let's go down the left-hand side and create a text box. Let's look for the text box tool. And let's create a small text box in the top left-hand corner. I can zoom in a bit. And what I want to do is I want to create a little title here. Main body outline. Main body outline. So as we design more and more components on the computer, I want to make sure that they're all labeled and, and organized. So we've got the main body outline. And then what I can do is I can click, I can click out of that text box, click back in the text box, I can copy the text box, and then what I want to do is I want to paste it below, I can paste, and I want to bring this to the bottom left hand corner here, and just because when we send these to the printer, I want to make sure everybody's minion body is uh, accounted for, so I want you to type in your first name and last name here. Okay. All right, let me zoom back out to 100%. Okay, so let's save one last time for this tutorial. Okay, so when this is complete, I want you to show uh, call Mr. Wade over so he can verify the overall shape of your body, and then he'll give you permission to print. All right, so thanks for watching. This is video part one. Bye.